just picking up all my stuff from Motorcycles R Us. Um, Anthony and the crew here have always been unreal to me. Got the stuff super quick for the weekend. Um, I hit them up pretty last minute to get it all. So just got it all laid out here. Me and Anthony just went through and made sure the shopping list was all there. Um, like I said, guys, remember, you don't have to go through the online stores. Um, local shops are still awesome. Like I said, Anthony got the stuff for me within a week or so. Obviously, different stuff varies, but um, he can post it out, ship it out, whatever you need. I got it sorted, so bike will be hopefully running in a few days. All right, got all the parts back to Dad's shed. Got it all laid out nice and neatly here, making me feel good. Um, and then the bike, it's still in multiple places, so engine. Um, and then I got all my clean parts down here, so a um, bit of an update from last time. I definitely went a bit further than I wanted or I expected to. Completely framed the bike and cleaned it all up. Uh, I used Mag Cleaner. Uh, I looked on YouTube and a few people recommended that. Like I know you can use the Alley Bright and stuff. I was just a bit scared to um, go too extreme with it. Um, but I think it all come up pretty good compared to what it was. Got the tank and everything cleaned up. Obviously, I wish I could have got everything vapor blasted and looking schmick like everyone else um, that seems to be doing the builds, but I didn't have the budget or the time. So um, just a bit of old fashioned elbow grease going into this bike. Um, and yeah, it does look a lot better. So I'm excited to see it together once I piece these parts together. I'll go through all the parts and stuff as I build the bike a bit more detail, what I choose, why I chose it. Um, but yeah, I'll get into it. This one, two, five thing never ends. Uh, I was washing my bike at I think about 12 o'clock last night, 4.50, because it had to get rebuilt at JPM today. Um, then up at five this morning, head to the Gold Coast, got some more bearings because I called in to 67 at the Gold Coast to fit up my bearings and stuff while Jed was doing my engine. Um, and turns out I didn't have all the bearings. I didn't have the swing arm, I just had the linkage bearings. Um, but positive from it is he's fixed my linkage, which I basically thought I was gonna have to throw in the bin, as I saw you guys, but he was able to fix it all up. Got all new bearings in there, all greased up. So we're good to go with that um, now pretty well at the moment he's chucking in my swing arm bearings and then from there pin it another two and a half hours back to the sunshine coast pick up my suspension then i'm going to go back to king Arroy, another two and a half hours on top of that um, and start building the thing so big days and i decided that i needed to rebuild the bike. Um, I decided to hit up the local bike shop, so King Roy Motorcycles, come down here and got them to give me a hand just because they've got all the right tools and everything. Um, and pretty well, I didn't have time to stuff it up, so um, I wanted to have a crack at it myself, but it's been cool. I've learned how to do it now. Um, and by doing it as well, Davey figured out that my power valve wasn't working correctly. Um, it was actually opening up one side, so super pumped that I bring it in here. Otherwise, I would have had a very slow 125. Um, but yeah, so got to finish the rebuild today, um, already got the piston and stuff in there, but just through the whole rush of things, actually forgot to order gaskets. So had to reorder them, get them sent. Um, so today, finishing that off, um, getting the carby all cleaned up, everything. And then the wheels over here, gonna chuck some Maxxis tires on, um, wheel bearings, and then I should be out of here, back up to dad's place, and we should be able to build the thing up. So. Um, I went with the MX SIs on this one, so soft intermediate terrain. Basically the reason for it is I've tried them on my 450 and they still give you awesome performance, like they hook up Unreal, but they just last a little bit longer. And being that this bike's gonna be like a bit of a play bike and um, you know, just like I don't wanna be changing tires on all the time, I want a tire that performs but still lasts. So that's why I went that one, the Maxxis MX SI. Right, so this is where we're up to. It is Wednesday night, about seven o'clock, um, and we're hoping to leave tomorrow at 12 o'clock, like lunchtime. So, um, got a long way to go, but feeling good about it because the bike's rebuilt. Massive thank you to Davey. He stayed after hours to help me get it all done. Um, and yeah, so we got the bike, it's rebuilt. Got wheels, um, suspension, subframe, bearings, everything's all done. Pretty well just piecing it back together now, so. I've got a frame, engine, and then just parts and bolts and stuff that I have no idea where it's going, but um, we'll smash it out and hopefully it's all done tonight.
quick update. So got the shock in, swing arm, brake, rear brake lines all on. Dad's just chucking on a foot peg for me. Um, got super sprocks, sprocket on here. So I run super sprocks because you've got the alloy inner and the steel outside. Um, so obviously the steel is going to last longer, so it's long lasting, but it's still light, especially on the 125, you want it to be as light as possible. Um, but as you can see, I'm all kitted up. Got Michaela in the headlamp too, because on our wheels, um, we've actually got a standard front wheel, but the rear wheel, we've got an aftermarket hub on it. And because of that, turns out that my all balls kit I ordered doesn't actually fit. It's got um, different bearings and I threw out the seal of the last bearing. So we've got to go through this trailer bin to find a seal. Wish us luck. All right, so a tip if you're gonna do a bike build, when you remove stuff, try to take a photo or video because we didn't really take a detailed video of the wiring and now have no idea where it goes. We've been playing around with this for ages and just can't figure out which direction everything's meant to face. We can turn the whole world around. I'm in the backseat really trying to hold it down. And if you up now from the lost and found and get your hands up high and your shoulders down and sit. We can turn the whole world around. I'm in the backseat really trying to hold Here in the promised land, watch it, I promise, man. If you ain't looking close, we gon' look like an industry plan. Flex it, I really can't, cause this is a higher plan. I'm walking with the sun, so... So I was just gonna run the stocker exhaust, try to clean it up, but it's so beat up and rusted. Pumped, We've got this VH exhaust from Parramatta Racing. The thing looks so sick. Carbon tip. Way too pumped at 2.30 in the morning. All right, so Dad and I have been just grinding it out. Not sure if you can see. It is 2.46 in the morning. So neighbors are gonna hate us, but we're gonna give it a go. Morning guys, it's the last day of the build. Um, putting it together last night and then looking over it this morning. Definitely wish I had a little bit longer um, just to tidy up and clean up some stuff. Um, wish I got a bolt kit just to make all the bolts all look nice. But we did it really quick, two weeks to smash it out. Um, and I think the end result's still gonna be pretty sick. So I'm just gonna chuck a chain on and then it's pretty well plastics and the stuff to make it look cool now. Another quick tip, so don't be like myself and just rip everything apart as quick as you can and leave bolts and stuff everywhere because I look like I've got a lot of mismatched stuff. Um, pretty well no bolt looks the same, so we'll, we'll try to piece it together. I chucked a uh, EK race chain on there, so basically no O-ring or X-ring just to eliminate friction. On being a 125, obviously they're, uh, they're not the fastest bike, so you sort of want as little friction as possible. Um, and yeah, these are light but super strong chains and the gold chain always looks sick. All right, time for graphics and plastics. Uh, Michaela's already fitted up the graphics to the plastics kit. Um, cool thing about backyard designs is you can just go on their online configurator and you design it yourself. So over the last couple months, I sort of just been going on there playing, trying to make a bit of a design. Um, I went with the old school plastics, like the OEM ones, uh, just because I wanted to keep it a little bit old school looking, um, and I think it's going to come up sweet. So I've got a backyard designs seat cover as well, 
Um, so I'm gonna throw it all on now and it'll pretty well look done. Like three though, similar to me though. Thinking I alone supposed to be some sort of hero. When God he made it clear that there is power in his people. I'm writing these words, hoping he grow up as a man and kinda understand. Making an impact is better than making a hundred grand. If you could do both, but don't expect the harvest right when you sow. And never put money ahead, your own personal growth. So we can turn the whole world around. I'm in the backseat, really trying to hold it down. And if you up now from the lost and found, then get your hands up high. Oh, that was so fun. That was fun. It, it's so slow. <laughs> like I actually, I was like, I've heard other people say like, oh, there must be something wrong with it because they're so slow. That's what it feels like. Hey man, it feels like so slow. Like you come out of every corner and like, boom. So you got to go pretty well down to second gear or first gear. Just get it rev and then go, ah, and just keep clicking. Man, it's fun. <laughs> 